oh my gosh this is this is it this was this is it I forgot okay how do I say this what am I saying hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Elizabeth and you are watching the Liz that show so guys I am so happy to do this video it's been like the fifth time I've tried to record this video and I'm so happy because if you are watching me right now it's because it worked my technical problems are solved and so I'm really happy um, my channel is a beauty channel so I will be posting multiple videos about makeup hair style and I'm really excited to do so it's a long journey that I'm gonna have with you guys and I'm really excited so um, without further ado let me show you what I'm gonna do in this video so as you seen in the title um, this is a get ready with me spring summer edition so yeah so it's really a simple makeup look kind of natural I don't like putting too much makeup on daily basis but for when I go out with my girls or stuff like that I like to go a bit more you know just add a little bit more shine to my face and so this is the look that i have right now it's not too complicated to do so if you're a beginner or you're advanced you can still do this makeup so thank you guys for watching if you like this video don't forget subscribe like share and comment comment if you if you appreciate it um, I'm also going to talk about black lives matter a topic that is really sensitive right now all around the world I want to talk about how your voice is important today and so keep on watching if you want to know my opinion my views it's gonna be really brief but I still want to address it right now because this is what is going on and I can not just ignore it so yeah Thank you and let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with some lip balm. I just finished washing my face and it's a bit dry, so my lips right now need, need a little bit of some love. And after I'm gonna be using some primer just for my makeup to set and to be there all day every day so I'm using today the Mary Kay foundation primer sunscreen SPF so SPF 15 is for um, protection against the Sun so this is really good for your skin Okay, so I just finished with the primer. Next, I'm gonna be moving on with some foundation powder. Um, yes, I said powder. I do not really use liquid when it's summer or spring because I'm really hot and like when it's when it's liquid, it's just not working for me because I have an oily skin and then sometimes it just gets oily even if I put some um, finishing powder. So I prefer just to use some powder really quick, really nice. I like to use this one, it's from Mary Kay. This one is the Mineral Powder Foundation in the shade Bronze 4. So I'm gonna be applying it with a foundation brush. This is Glory. So I'm just gonna pour some a little bit here, as you see, and I'm gonna be applying it where there are like some more dark places, dark circle. I just like to add it then blend it. I also like um, when I apply this powder, I like to put some around my mouth because I used to have eczema around my mouth and it was really dark, but now the eczema is quite gone but it's still dark under my lips so I just like to add some powder there I add a little bit on my lips just to get a little natural look right now so any foundation foundation powder you have that works well with your skin is a good good Blend, blend, blend. Um, so next, I'm gonna be using 
um, some dip brow deep dip dip brow um, gel. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the babe. You know the babe. Um, this is in the shade Ebony Ebony Ebony. And I'm gonna be using again um, this brush from Lori. So when you use some dip brow, you want to actually have this kind of uh, shape to your to your um, brush, so it can apply really well. Okay, so next, normally I would be using some concealer, but I couldn't find my concealer. So I'm just going to be using this foundation, liquid foundation, matte, matte 3D foundation. So um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to apply it still with um, a concealer brush. This is a concealer brush from Sephora. Okay, so I just finished with my brows normally because I've applied I've applied powder and I've applied right now some liquid um, liquid foundation or it would be liquid concealer I will usually use this um, translucent loose powder I'm gonna use it under my eyes and above just to make it match because there's like a kind of a the texture is not the same if you know what I mean so I'm gonna be using this translucent loose powder from Mary Kay again I'm gonna be pouring some here this is the fluffy blush I'm using still from Lori so I have a little bit here and I'm gonna go under my eye apply some and above my eye just to make it matte so it can match my face okay so next what I like to do um, I like to add some eyeliner um, I don't like to have a big like line I don't like those kind of like not for like summer I prefer to do something more subtle and that's gonna help me with my eyes so I'm gonna show you this little trick I learned um, so what you're gonna do you're just gonna do a little line as your lashes so you're gonna draw it like it's a lash but on your eye just really simple like that and it just opens the eye a little bit more do you see it it's really subtle but it's still there next I'm gonna be using my mascara the lash intensity mascara but before using the mascara as I said before I wanted to talk a bit about um, the situation going on with George Floyd um, the, the protests going on and the impact that it has on each and every one of us and how everyone and I say I'm saying everyone has a voice everyone has a voice um, what I like to bring is the fact that there are some people that are still silent about what is going on and it's so important that you talk that you speak that even though there's like 22 million people already saying this was unjust this was not fair what happened to George Floyd and so many other black folks but you say like you say, oh, they already said it. You need to say it too. You need to have a voice in what's going on. Let me give you a little example, just a little slight example that happened to me when I was in grade 11. It was gym class. And um, I remember it was a time where I liked to wear my natural hair. I was doing twist outs. I was doing braids out. I did so many kinds of hairstyle, cool, really nice. That I really had some fun doing and I am so grateful that I did it back then um, and I came to gym class I think I have like a twist out I think and 
the teacher explained what we were doing and so we were in teams of three and so the class the class separated and I was with my team of three and the teacher passed by and he said oh like I had a twist out and he said like oh your hair looks electrified excuse me electrified who do you think you are who do you think you are to have that kind of comment that kind like I just really didn't understand at that time. I was like, where does he come from? I never asked for your opinion. No one asked for your opinion. You're not even black. You're not, it's not like we are close or something like that. Like we make jokes around, we make fun of each other, but like it was never like, you can actually make fun of my hair like that. This is my property. This is who I am. And you can't just laugh it off. So I was really, really shocked when he said that. And regardless, um, I remember, I think no one said anything, but like the ones that heard what he said, they were like a bit shocked, but they didn't say anything. And that's the same thing I'm saying here. The same thing that happened to George Floyd, the same thing that happened to so many other people. Regardless how small the situation is, regardless how big it is, you can't just say nothing. You can't just you know what my voice doesn't matter like if someone had stood up for me would say yo like teacher this is not nice that's this was not like this you cannot say that and even myself I don't remember if I said something but I wish I could remember if I said something you can't just stay silent because when you stay silent you become the voice you choose a you choose a side and when you choose a side you can choose it by saying something or you can choose it by not saying something. And when you choose not to say something, you're on the wrong side. You're on the wrong side. If you, Even if you say like, I have a black friend, so what? You need to say something when you see injustice. You need to share, you need to talk. And what is really good is that today, nowadays, everyone has a platform. Like, um, regardless how big, how small, how wonderful it is, Whatever, whatever your content is, you can have a time, you can take a little split second of your entertainment and just talk about Black Lives Matter and talk to your audience because maybe your audience, there are some still people, there are still some people that has like some ideas, like really, really profound ideas they have and they don't even think it it is but it is racist if you actually have a, a law project if you want to write about something that you want to propose to the city or you want to propose to your um to la municipality la municipality that you are in you can actually do it so you can take action real actions protests protests are protests pro protesting is really great and it shows how like we are united as per, as a people we are coming and we want to talk and we want to expose what pro, what the police has been doing not all of off not all officers are bad but there is still some police brutality going on and this is not fair and this is why you need to talk about it if you just need to share if you not if you don't want to maybe film yourself you can just share what people are sharing and actually when you you share you even educate yourself so this is really great i'm so happy just to see what is going on and that there is change that is coming and so yeah so now I'm gonna be applying my mascara. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the Lash Intensity Mascara from Mary Kay. So what I like to do when I use this mascara, I like to just add one layer of mascara. So while, I, while I'm adding this, I just let it dry a bit. So it can get a little bit sticky and then I add a second layer. So I'm going to be applying, this is not a blush palette, but I just love the red that is in it. So I'm going to be applying this color from the palette Julia's Place, the Zulu by Julia's. I'm going to be using this brush. This is a brush from Liz Watsi. I'm just gonna be putting some a bit on my cheeks 
This color is so bright. I really love Julia. Okay, are we are we loving this? Are we not? Cute, 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 cute. Then I'm gonna go back again with my Lash Intensity Mascara. Ooh. So bright. A bit on the bottom lash. Okay. I'm kind of loving this. So there is one last step to this cute look I am gonna be using the Mary Kay Nourishing Lip Gloss just to add a bit of shine to my face yes so I only put it on the bottom lash on the bottom lash on the bottom lip just to add a bit of color <laughs> Let me just finish with my hair and then I'm gonna be back. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I am super happy how it turned out. I'm really liking this look. This is a super easy look you can do during spring. Well, what is left of spring and the beginning of summer. It's a really easy, as I said. And yeah, so if you like this video, you like uh, my views, uh, about what is going on with Black Lives Matter. You can like this video. You can comment also about your views in the comments down below. I'm really happy to read everything that is written there. And yeah, so you can share, you can subscribe if you wanna see more. Hit the bell notification if you wanna see more, if you wanna be aware when I'm posting. And so yeah, this is it. This is the Liz Dot Show presented by Elizabeth. Thank you for watching.